Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing a start to finish. Um, basically going to design a hoop with a name in it and, uh, and a date in Inkscape. I'm going to take that into RD Works and set up the job and then I'm going to take that into my laser cutter and actually engrave it and cut it out. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, stick around and check out the video. So first of all, I'm just going to start with uh, the ellipse tool, making a circle. I'm going to put a stroke around that and um, we're going to use the stroke as our actual hoop. So um, I'll just set the thickness of the stroke here. It looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go up here and go to path and then stroke to path. And basically that puts a stroke around that. Um, and as you can see here, I'll we'll select both of them. Click ungroup and go to object and click ungroup. You'll see that then becomes two separate objects. I can get rid of the circle because I don't need it. I only need the hoop for this part. Okay, so I'll size that up and then I'll bring in some text. Um, I'll just do ash. Uh, so I've just got my stroke set there. I'll change that in a second. Let's select that, change that stroke. The strokes are just in the fill and stroke tab. Uh, it's also under the object tab as well. Um, I'll change the font to something a bit more cursive. Uh, what's a good one? Yeah, this one's good. Yep, perfect. So I'll then resize that just to fit in the hoop. Um, you sort of want it touching the hoop because we are going to weld the name to the hoop, but first of all, actually um, combine the name first and then I'll um, join that to the hoop, but I'll show you how to do that. Um, so first of all, for the name, we go path and object to path and that makes it a path. I'll just pop it into outline mode here so that you can see the outline. Um, you can see it's all overlapping, even the name's overlapping. So I need to move the A over onto the S first of all. So I'm gonna select the name and I'm gonna ungroup that name. Um, then I can select the A and just slide that over just so, just so it's touching a little bit. It's pretty good right there. Once I get that lined up, it's pretty good. Doesn't need to be perfect, I guess, but it's only a demonstration. I'll select the whole name, and then I'm gonna click over here, and I'm gonna click Path, Combine, and then Path Union. And you'll see there that that name is then all one path now. Um, it is still overlapping on the, on the hoop, but we're also gonna um, combine that with that as well. So the way to do that, I'll just set this to where I want it because I do wanna put a little bar underneath and put a, put a date on it. So you basically select the two objects, the, the, the hoop and the, and the name, and then we're just gonna go path and union. And you can see there now that the name is actually part of that, that round hoop or circle. Um, yeah, so once we have that part set, I might move that down so it doesn't have that page background. So once I've got that set, um, I'm then going to come in underneath and just do a line here, which I'll put a, a date on. Um, yeah, again, I'll, I'll put this back to normal while I line this up. I like working in the outline mode sometimes when I'm doing things like this because you can actually see uh, that they have welded or they have been joined together. Um, so I tend to go back and forth. I, I do it in outline mode and then I'll go back to normal mode just to check it out and make sure it still looks good. Uh, so I'll just line this up properly. And um, it looks pretty good. So again, I'm just going to select both of those by holding the shift key. And again, I'm just going to go path and path union. And now that bar is actually welded into the hoop as well. So I can now go through and then just put my date in there. I'll just give you a quick look so you can see. So that's all good. Okay. Um, then we need a date. Um, let's see here. Go there. Mm, 26.05. Uh, what do we got? 2021. I'll hit the select tool. I'll change the color of that so it stands out on top of the red there. We'll basically just place that in there and I'll just stretch that out a little bit just so it's a, a little bit bigger on there. Um, I'll center that up. So you've also got alignment and di distribution tab on the right there. Uh, so if you select both of these objects, you can then click on that tab and you can click on this one here and it will just align that date to be centered to uh, the hoop or yeah whatever you're working with. So again, selecting all that, I'm just gonna uh, group those together. 
and that's pretty much the design there. I'll probably resize this. I'll probably do it to about, I don't know, maybe 20 centimeters. So I'm working in millimeters here because that's what RD works is in as well. So I like to do, to keep it the same. So I click this little padlock and it locks the aspect ratio. And then I can size that to 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters. Um, I'll go ahead and save that. And I'll basically save that as a DXF. So I'll save as DXF um, and I'll just, Use this R14, that's the one that I use. Um, the R12 one doesn't seem to work. Um, I'll just save it as Ashley. Click save. So you can see millimeters and millimeters. That's how I import it. That way it's the same size when it comes into RD Works. So give that a minute to save and then we'll jump into RD Works and set it up in there. All right, so here we are in RD Works. It's just a matter of uh, basically importing that same file that I just saved. So I'll click on the import tab, find that, find that file. There oh, yeah, there it is. There. Uh, so I can already see there the date's not in there, and I'll show you how to fix that. That's because I didn't make it a path before I saved it. So I'll have to jump back into Inkscape. And basically, basically, you just need to select that and go path, object to path. Um, basically, it's it's not a path yet, so when you save it as a DXF, it doesn't recognize it. Um, and that's why that didn't work. So I just basically do that, go back in, save it all again, exactly how I saved it the first time. So save it as the R14. It's under the name Ashley, saved in the same file. Yep, replace. Give that a minute to save, and then I'll jump back into RD. So I'll get rid of that, and I'll import the new one that I just did. And as you can see there, the date's now in there. So, get this set up. I'll just move this up to the top left corner. Always work out of that corner. So I like to sort of get everything up there. So again, this is only a 20 centimeter um, circle, so it's not it's not very big. Um, but I'll just show you how, I, how to set it up in here. So if I click off of that, then up, you'll see up in the top right hand corner there, there's layers. So it's all black at the moment, it's all set for a cut. Um, but we obviously want to engrave that date. So I like to zoom in, and it's just a matter of selecting that date. And it will only select that date if you don't select the whole thing. And then clicking on red. So I, I have red set up as my scan and black as my cut. Um, and so you can see up there now there's two layers. Um, there's a scan layer and a cut layer, and a cut layer first and a scan layer second. So if I click on preview, what will happen is it will actually cut out the hoop first, and then it will try to engrave that date. I'll just do a little preview and let it run through a little bit. Um, so you can also see it up the top there, it's going to take seven minutes to do that job, and the light time is five minutes. So it's going to be, um, the laser's going to be on for five minutes, but it's a, it's going to take seven minutes for it to complete the job. So if we go back out and we've got that highlighted and click the up button, the red one then jumps to the top and the cut one is underneath. So this is set up to cut in, in layers. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I hit preview again, you can now see that it'll go through and it'll do the engraving first. And once the engraving is finished, it'll then go to do they cut the outline. So that's exactly what we want. All right, cool. So what I'll do is I'll jump out, I'll save this, and uh, I'll take it over to the laser machine and we'll get it cut out. I'll just show you there again. There's the output set to yes, so that when I save it, it does blowing. Um, it's all sort of set up there, your options that you have. I only use cut and scan. And that's where you set your powers and your directions, so yeah. But anyway, like I said, I'll get that I'll get that saved and then we'll jump over to to the laser machine and uh, and we'll get it cut out. So if I was plugged into my laser machine right now, I would just click the download tab, but because I'm not, I'm just gonna save this to a USB and I'm gonna pop that into the machine and uh, run it off of the controller. I'll just save that. Perfect.
All right, here we are. So I'll try and see if I can get you to so you can see that there. So I've got the USB inserted, and now I've just got to go through and copy it to the memory of the controller. If you can see that there, it's just a matter of uh, reading the UDisk, finding that file, and then clicking uh, clicking copy to memory. So once that's copied into the memory, it'll then be in the machine, and I can just run it from there. There's our job there. So you can see that red layer is at the top, black layer at the bottom. It's all good. Grab some three mil. It's nice and easy. Get that set up. So normally too with this, whenever I do any MDF or ply, I normally use this, this masking tape over the top of it just to stop the burnt look. Uh, but because this is only for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to worry about that. So just keep in mind at the end of the video when it's finished, it will have a bit of a burnt look on the outside of the disc uh, or the, the hoop, I should say, sorry. Um, but yeah, normally I would cover that with masking tape and um, they come out really nice, nice and clean. Uh, so I'm just running a frame there of the job so I know exactly where it's going to fall and uh, we'll get it started. guys getting to the end of this now so just while i've got you if you like the video please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you can see any future videos that are put up i will be doing more videos like this and also some other videos with the uh, inkscape and things like that as well um so yeah i'll just finish this off here i'll cut it out and then i'll pull it out and give you a bit of a look at it it's all done get out of the way and grab this out nice clean cut And there we have it, start to finish. So you can see it's a little bit burnt on the face. Uh, the back's looking really good. You're actually wondering what those letters are down on the bed there. That's just to raise it up off the bed so that it doesn't get all that flashback on it. They actually work really well, so that's a good tip. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.